plein air painting with Karen Fitzgerald. Okay, so these this is these are the materials that I use and I've uh, laid them out. I prepare my bag before I go out in the morning and these are the things that I use. I have a pencil case with a variety of pencils. I do like to use a hard lead pencil with a kneaded eraser. I do use the arches block when I go out and uh, I have a sketchbook. I bring my phone for photos so I can take some pictures. I have a container for water. I do go in the marshes so I like to bring some bug spray and in the warm days it's nice to have some something to uh, suntan lotion to protect yourself and paper towels. The tube that you're looking at is something that I designed myself here. It's just a very sturdy tube and what I do is I put my brushes in there and it keeps the tips. These are my brushes. I like to use flats and rounds and, um, and I, I put them in the container and they're pretty protected and then I bring them over to my bag I bring bring all of this over here and put it in a bag my idea whoops there's something in there I like to um, I like to make sure I bring them over to the bag I like to make sure that my bag is light so that I can walk deep into the woods if I need be I also have a palette. I usually put out the colors that I think I'm going to use. Um, sometimes I have more colors than others. It's just a plastic palette that you can buy that closes up. And, um, and I drop that in a plastic bag and that's what was in this bag is a plastic bag. So that, here's another palette because they tend to leak. I don't have to worry about it. I can just put it in that bag and it won't leak all over everything. Um, this is my easel with a piece of paper on it that I have designed and with the help of my husband we've made it. I'll close this up right now. Um, I do bring a sponge. I try and a, you know in a water container. This is a actually a dog bowl traveling dog bowl that's collapsible which I love and I just clip it to this masonite board with my paper and my clips and um, it's on the easel that I basically had my husband make for me um, and I'll show you how that works in a minute um, I do have a viewfinder here which you want to bring with you so that you can check out what you want to paint. Frames in what you want. It's made out of an old slide, Ectrochrome slide, and a sketchbook that you need. Okay, and then what I've done with my easel is this is a Sunpack photo easel, and I'll show you. It's very easy. I just attached and I'll show that to you how it works. I just attached to the background, if I turn it up here, a screw to a piece of masonite. And this just slips right out. Can't do it with one hand here. Here it is. This comes right off and right on, as you can see. And it's great for traveling. I have different sizes. I, uh, I have a small one that I can put in my traveling bag, but when I'm local, I like to use the bigger one. And this is just a regular photo um, tripod. A sun pack, very light, that goes into my bag. And that's everything that I carry. So I, I make sure that I have water, paper, my paints that I think I might use, and I pack it up in that bag, and I'm ready for 
tomorrow's adventure. So um, I'll pack it up and I'll s see you tomorrow. And here we are the next day at Atkinson Park, Newburyport. And I'm just showing you what I'm going to be painting, the gazebo. And here is one of my friends, Shelly, over there that's painting in oils. I'll be painting in watercolor. Now I set up my, my easel, like I've told you, and it came right out of my bag. I'm going to show you some, my bag that's behind me over here with my camera and the beautiful and then over here I also have another friend that's painting behind me that's doing uh, oil also uh, Susan Susan Spellman and here I am I'm just giving you the whole round and there's Shelly Champion okay so here I am and I've set my easel up is my palette my dog bowl with my water, my sponge, my brushes. I've taken the uh, initiative to do a uh, uh, sketch so I could plan it out what I'm going to do. You notice I, I uh, in my sketch I've taken the tree in front out. I might actually put it back in. I'll decide as I paint. These are decisions I make as I paint. So um, here I am. I've got my uh, little sketch that I went by. I've got my paper and my sketch ready to go. My paints are uh, all ready and I'll paint. So I'll, uh, I'll start the painting and I'll uh, move along. And right now I've just finished a very light coat of everything using the one inch an inch and a half, I believe, flat brush that I've left there. And I've just kind of established that dark tree, thrown in some lighter colors with my palette and the sponge that I use. And um, I'll let that dry up a little bit. And then I'll come back with some detail and some shadows and make that um, gazebo. Uh, come out a little bit more. Throw some shadows on it, let it make it pop. Okay, so while my painting is drying, uh, drying, I came by to see uh, one of my friends, painting friends, outdoor plein air friends, and that's Shelly Champion, and she's using oils. Hi, Shelly. Okay. And uh, the, this is the view that she has. She's doing that house and that beautiful orange tree out here which is uh, doing well. So, uh, good for you, Shelly. Thank you, <laughs> Okay, good luck. All right. Oh, yeah, I got it, yeah. Okay, so I, I have a friend, Shelly. My friend Shelly is uh, taking a picture of me. And Shelly, if you could come in and they can just see me painting a little bit here. I'm just adding a few. Um, shadows. Very nice. And um, like much. and trying to bring out just a little bit here. And anyways, this is my painting here. I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing, but there's a dark shadow that I want to put down along these stairs here. That will give it some dimension. And anyways, I'll show you another shot a little further on after all the shadows are put in. I'm just kind of establishing, establishing them because when you're outside, things change so fast. And I want to make sure that I have, at least can remember where they are. This is a bush over here, there's some docks over here. So it might not look like anything yet, but eventually you pull it in. And there are lots of nice shadows that will be coming across 
the path. So I'm going to put them in so I don't forget. And I like to use ultramarine blue in fall because it goes good with orange. And I'll, uh, and I'll definitely be putting darker shadows up in front here. Which will help me to bring the picture into the into the gazebo. Okay, thank you, Shelly. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thanks. I didn't turn it off. That's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And now I've just about finished what I think I'm going to complete here. I got just about everything done. I've taken a picture with my iPhone. My box is in my water. I've changed a couple of times. I put the shadows in. I basically have just about finished. Now I'm going to walk away from it, pack up, bring it home, <clears throat> and then um, maybe touch up the um, a few details in the gazebo you know bring it the light has changed now so I'm not really looking at the same thing and uh, finish you know put it away and probably finish it up in a couple of hours with a few strong docks here and there a little bit of spatter maybe spatter on the front here um, put a few orange leaves I think in uh, in the pathway so uh, I'll see you when I get home luckily one of my good friends Mariat stopped by and she's doing watercolors too look at this beautiful piece that she just did we'll zoom in oh of the park how beautiful another watercolor great it was good and there she is Mariat I'm going to say you um, Lesk. Lesk. Okay. <laughs> I'm tired. And there's my painting, and I'm closing yeah. it up. And it's lovely. And, uh, and I'll see everybody at home. <laughs> okay, I'm back at the studio. I've thrown a few more shadows in, spattered. And voila, I've signed it. And um, no more than five minutes on it just to kind of look at it again. I might put it away and then look at it again. So that's my gazebo at the Atkinson Park for today. Um, I am just going to focus on I'm going to move around because I'm in my studio so you can see a little bit of my studio which I need to clean up actually but um, there I've put a few pieces that I've done in the past this past summer and I am offering uh, a sale on any of these paintings and more if you're interested I uh, give me a call. I'll be offering them for twenty-five dollars to maybe fifty dollars. Um, if you want them matted and framed, I can certainly accommodate that. But anyways, uh, they will be sold uh, for that. That's my sale. So if anyone is interested in any of these paintings, uh, these are my plein air paintings. Of course, I have my regular paintings. But I'll also give a discount on that. I have tons of and you and you can find most of those because um, most of those will be on my website and www.ks it's Gerald thank you for watching have a good day